Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Donkey Kong, and we got stage success one to deal with. Here's the thing about these airplane stages that you must understand. Oh! There's wind, fuck. So yes, you have to deal with the wind blowing you back on this level. And it can prove to be quite a damn hazard, and of course we got guns on this damn thing, so you have to be careful about them, because they can prove to be a killing factor in this whole fight against Donkey Kong. And it, this is probably the easiest way to get this parasol without getting murdered in such a way. And here's another strategy that you can pull shit here. And it's just doing this. Thanks to the wind, you don't have to really actually do anything. You can just let the wind blow you under the bullets. And this is gonna be a tricky jump here, because I feel like I'm gonna drop my damn key. Thank God, that's the door. Fuck yes. So yeah, once you get your ass up down there safely without dropping the key in the spikes, you should be okay at doing things. And let's see, we got... Let's see if we could get Mario heads, not that it matters. And we get one at least. Could've gotten five extra lives game. Not like it matters. But yes, yeah, 6-2. And remember the door that said help, because you're gonna have a fun time finding it if you don't. That's all I can say here. Damn, though. And the way to get up here, ride this block up. Fuck yes. But this level could possibly be done... Damn it. <laughs> Freaking face planting Mario. Let's see if we can find a way to get through here. But as you can see, this level is more of a brain-busting one, as you can see. There's not too much... Too much difficulties here. And what was the point... What's the point of this switch again? Oh. Ah, I see what the point of that switch was now. Fuck yes. Okay, and then once you get the key over here with ease, thanks to this nice little bridge, go over here, climb down this ladder, and make this key drop on your head. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah. Okay, so let's get through this nice little maze of door doorness, and don't get crushed by that one, or that block of doors. I just love how they shove the door in that particular spot. Damn it. And we get the nice roulette that I don't really care about anymore. It's a disappointing game, making me have to watch what I could get when I can't get it. Doop, doop, doop. Maybe you can start giving me continues or something. But nevertheless, 6-3. Do, 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 do. And crap, it's funny that we're right at the door with, that we need to go into. Oh, okay, I just like smacked my face against that damn platform there. But as you can see, and I died. Do, 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 do. Damn. But as you can see, this level is a bit tricky in terms of the platforming element, but the nice thing is that we're in the interior right now, so we can... We don't have to worry about the wind trying to slowly massacre us in every way. What's this do? Okay, I guess it reverses the platform. Sweet. But yeah, as you can see, these levels get really fucking tricky in the skill department. But once you get up here and deal with the platform madness that this level has to offer, you should be okay. I'm not sure- oh. Reverses the platforms? Well, I just need to fall on a platform here, game. And fall on another one. And shit. Shit, shit. Not good. Not good at all, game. And I think I'm not getting that key now. Shit. So yes, that's the problem with this level. If you happen to fall and screw up your descent, you could possibly leave a key on a high ledge that you don't want to have. So try to make your jumps count here, and try not to make such big falls, and you should get the, that key to that door in no time. Fuck yes. Good job, Mario. You didn't kill yourself on the way down. But we have a Donkey Kong encounter. Uh-oh, it looks like we have a freaking grinder. And bullets trying to kill me, shit. So this is where the skill level gets really crazy. Damn, man. So you're gonna have to really kind of maneuver your way around this place without getting murdered. Shit, shit. And of course, at the same time, you have to fight the wind, which makes this 
rather, rather tricky, but once you figure it out, you can realize that Mario just destroyed this level, and now he's like, Hey, come back here! I got here in like 200 seconds, fool! I closed doors for a living! Uh-oh, uh-oh, whoa, what the hell? We got a fireball launcher? Shit. You gotta be careful here, Mario. Come on, get your ass up here. And Donkey Kong's like, damn it, didn't work. Do. Damn, though. Looks like this is a heavily armed fortress of flying death. Robotnik. Okay, so looks like we got another save. Let's do it. And looks like... Mario decides to dance up with Donkey Kong on the wing, but first he has to get there, with 6-5 in its way. And this one has an obvious door entrance. And this is one of the tougher levels in this game, because we get introduced to those wonderful flamethrower machines that do love to do this thing called screw the sh screw you over and shoot in, in multiple angles, as you can see. So you want to really be careful here. Because if you get hit, you get hit and die. And the thing that's evil about this is all these damn ladders that are folding up on your ass, because they can prove to be very, very, very nasty. Shit, 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 shit! Yes, this... The ladders just love to set you up for death. So now, this... Now that we got done with the easier part of this level, now you must do the harder part of this level, getting through these this damn cord or this damn uh, shaft of death, having to deal with these guys trying to shoot you in all sorts of ways. It, but as long as you don't bounce or hold A on any springs, you can easily get your ass down here and get the fuck out of here alive. Good job, Mario! And we get done with that in good okay time, at least. 6-6! Let's see what this is all about. Oh, we're in the clouds now? Interesting. Clouds with wind? What the hell, man? So you're gonna have to start using the power of the wind to help you out here. Like, for instance, it will help you out in getting a jump. Or getting your jumps extended. And that's pretty much the idea of the level trying to point to you. Like, for instance, you have these big-ass gaps that Mario could not normally make, but with the help of the fucking wind, as you'll see in a moment, he can definitely make this shit now, fuck yes. And once you get the key, it's pretty much smooth sailing from here. There's not much you can screw up on. Pretty simple level once you get it when you once you get the concept down. Alright, so far so damn good. And holy crap, three extra lives I could have gotten. Not that it matters. And let's get two. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, so far so damn good. Damn, man, we're just blazing through fucking airplane. It's only eight minutes. Okay, whatever. 6-7. Let's see if I can maybe die in this stage. Okay, it looks like it's that upper door. Gotta remember that. And here's the fun beat of this level. You're gonna have to play with conveyor belts and ducking. Problem is, is that you're going to have to not duck your life away. God, man. Do 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 do. But yeah, you're pretty much gonna have to play this game known as fucking around with conveyor belts. And then what you're gonna have to move and over them in such a way, grab the key, and then you're gonna have to throw it again. Man, so yes, this level can be very tricky in this regard. Come on, get your ass back here. But once you get your ass oh shit. Thank god key protected my life. It's like the trifles her has protected me. Okay, let's try to do this again. Come on. <coughs> Damn it, Key. Damn it, Key. Oh, God. Okay, once you get your ass over here and hurry up and grab that damn key, you're gonna have to do this thing called throwing or throw up in the air, climb, and repeat. Once you do that twice, that's pretty much the end of the level. Thank God. Because I was getting kind of worried that I'd fuck it up and have to, you know... Do all that shit again, because that shit is not fun, man. Not fun at all. Now, how the hell do I get up there and get that stuff? But now we have a Donkey Kong battle now. Uh-oh. And this is where it, this battle gets really fucking tricky, because you're going to have to deal with the wind and barrel throwing, and the fact that there's also death pits in this section. Damn it. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, punk. Oh shit! <coughs> Fuck! Ah damn! 
That sucks. So yeah, you really have to be careful here, as you can see. But, uh, as long as you're just not getting fucking reckless with your actions, you should be okay. Mmm, <clears throat> Oh. So I'd say just doing it this way, so that way that you can get your hits in. <laughs> and try not to faceplant, because as you can see, Mario's body can get dragged. Or his, his twitching body can possibly get dragged off the airplane wing. But once you get that out of the way, Mario succeeds in kicking more ass. And... Pauline is silently yelling at me. Fucker. Come on, man. Why can't you yell for the crowd? You did it back on the 3DS. Whatever. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of sirens. I feel like I did something wrong. Nevertheless, guys, we are done with the airplane. It looks like Don Mario and friends are now chasing each other. What the hell? Oh, shit. Mario, run! Run! And that's just a nice way... Way of the game showing you yet another gimmick is among us. And this level, next level was fairly tricky. And I do mean fairly tricky. We get done with the airplane, let's wave goodbye to this awesome but short level. And move on to other more evil things. Like the iceberg. Fuck this area. But. Something has to be done about it, and it's a li really lengthy one, so that makes it even more tricky to deal with. But guys, I think we're going to stop it here, because this place is that much of a pain in the ass. So, thanks for watching, have a great day, and don't let Donkey Kong chuck a barrel upside your face today. Adios. It's, I swear, it's either someone cutting a lawn or with a wee whacker or vacuuming. She's getting worried. Adios.